production volume variance. The production volume variance is the difference between the budgeted fixed overhead and the assigned fixed overhead. As you know, businesses want to analyze their actual costs. They could do that by comparing them to the static or the original budget. But as we know, a business can create a more meaningful standard of comparison, the flexible budget. When we do this, the only difference between the flexible budget and the static budget is the level of output. That creates what is known as a volume variance. When we compare the flexible budget to the actual costs, we get something called the flexible budget variance. Now, these different columns and variances are usually compared on a line item by line item basis. For example, in prior lessons, we looked at variable costs such as direct materials or direct labor. And we saw that they do have a volume variance and a flexible budget variance. We also went a bit further. We saw that the flexible budget variance can be broken down into a rate variance and an efficiency variance. And those two variances added together equal the flexible budget variance. Now, what we haven't spent much time talking about are fixed items such as fixed manufacturing overhead. This will also have a flexible budget variance, but it will not have a volume variance. Why is that, you might wonder? Well, if the actual level of output is within the relevant range, the flexible budget will equal the static budget for fixed costs. For example, if you assume 12,000 units for the static budget, but only 10,000 units are made and sold, if it's within the relevant range, you would have budgeted likely the same amount under either scenario. So what does that mean? Well, if the flexible budget and the static budget are the same and the volume variance is zero, we don't really need those columns right now, do we? And we can actually then consider the fixed manufacturing overhead. We can look at that flexible budget variance. And again, we could say it's two components, the rate variance and the efficiency variance. And those two things add up to the flexible budget variance. However, because we are talking about fixed manufacturing overhead, we are not really talking about how many hours or kilograms or the number of inputs that are used. That means there is no efficiency variance to think of. So the flexible budget variance will equal the rate variance for fixed items because the efficiency variance is zero. Now, we can still do more analysis with respect to our fixed manufacturing overhead. We can compare it to the fixed manufacturing overhead that is allocated. You might remember the idea of allocating costs from a prior lesson. We can then compare the amount that is allocated to the flexible budget and we get a new variance. It's called the production volume variance, which is the difference between the static budget, which is equal to the flexible budget, fixed manufacturing overhead, and the fixed manufacturing overhead allocated during the period. The difference between them is called the production volume variance. And if we are looking at these particular columns, we could also compare the fixed manufacturing overhead allocated to the actual costs. The difference is under or over allocated overhead, which we did cover in a prior lesson. It's also interesting to note that the flexible budget variance when added to the production volume variance will equal the under or over allocated overhead for the period. In today's lesson, we want to focus on the production volume variance. Let's do an example. We'll take a look at a number of different items. 
as follows. This might be too much to absorb at once, so let's focus in on the bottom left of this initial data. We'll say we have a jacket company and their annual fixed manufacturing overhead is $276,000, that's the monthly amount, multiplied by 12 months. If we do that math, we see a couple of things. The fixed manufacturing overhead is 3,312,000. They also track their direct machine hours for the year, and that is 57,600 hours. If we divide the overhead by the machine hours, we get a rate of $57.50 per machine hour. This business will have a quantity of jackets from their sales budget or their sales forecast, which is 144,000 jackets a year. And then if we do a little more math, we can see that they will have direct machine hours per jacket of 0.4 hours per jacket. That is calculated by taking the hours per year of 57,600 and dividing it by the number of jackets a year, 144,000. Finally, we can calculate the rate per jacket if you want. The rate per jacket here is $57.50 per jacket multiplied by 0.4 hours a jacket, which equals $23. Let's continue on and now look at the actual amount of overhead for a single month. For this business was $285,000. If they compare that to the flexible, which is equal to the static budget, their fixed manufacturing overhead, remember, was given as $276,000 a month. The difference between these two items is known as the flexible budget variance, which for a fixed item like this, is also the rate variance. And that will be 9,000 unfavorable because the actual amount is a higher cost or a higher expense than the business budgeted for. Again, if we continue on, let's just write this down one more time. The flexible and static budget amount was $276,000. We'll compare it to something different. The allocated amount of overhead for the jackets actually made. Now, there's a lot of information here. Let me walk you through it. The business for this period actually makes and sells 10,000 jackets, not the 12,000 they budgeted. From before, you'll remember that they calculate it to be only 0.4 of a machine hour per jacket. So we'll take 0.4. Uh, multiply by the number of actual jackets made, which is 10,000, and they were allocating this at a rate of $57.50 per machine hour. So they do the same here, and they end up with $230,000 of allocated fixed manufacturing overhead. Another way to do this math is you could have taken the $23 of overhead per jacket, multiplied that by 10,000 jackets, and you would end up with 230,000. Let's look at more variances. We'll stay over here on the right. Remember, the flexible and the static budget are the same amount for fixed manufacturing overhead, and that number was given as $276,000. When we compare that to the amount that was actually allocated of 230,000, you can see that we have a 46,000 unfavorable production volume variance. It's unfavorable because the cost is higher than what is allocated. If we move over to the left, we talked about this already. The actual cost of 285 is higher than the budgeted cost of 276. So that variance is 9,000 unfavorable. This is the flexible budget variance, also called the rate variance. Now, just to make sure it's clear, 
The rate variance, also known as the flexible budget variance, was 9,000 unfavorable. The production volume variance was 46,000 unfavorable. If we add those together, we get $55,000. And that happens to be the difference between the actual costs of 285 compared all the way over here to the allocated costs of 230,000. That is how much they are under allocated by. And we dealt with under and over allocated overhead in a prior lesson. What does all of this mean? It means we can now analyze the reasons for under and over allocations in a bit more detail. This business here is under allocated, but they are not simply under allocated just because they made and sold 2,000 fewer jackets than they thought. They are also under allocated because $9,000 of the 55,000 under allocation is due to the business actually having this unfavorable rate variance. For some reason, their fixed costs are higher than they thought they would be. And that's something the business would have to investigate. The rest of the under allocation is because the business made and sold fewer units than they thought. And even that is worth investigating. We would want to know does this business have ongoing excess capacity? Are they able to sell it off? Or maybe there are other issues that are of concern. Perhaps the business's selling price per unit is too high, which is why they are unable to use all of their capacity. And it's getting to questions like that, which what makes this type of analysis useful. And speaking of being useful, I hope you found this video helpful. Until next time, I will say thank you so much for watching and may your journey be joyful. Crunch numbers, compare what's real Static to flexible budgets, that's the deal Output level shift, variance is a rise Flexible mind is actual, open your eyes Fixed overhead stays put, doesn't sway Within the relevant range, it holds its way Rate variance counts, efficiency is none Master the math and the battle's won Production volume variance, that's the aim Difference in overhead, never the same Budget to assign, watch numbers dance Step into the flow, join the finance trance Company, let's set the scene Fixed overhead, budgeted numbers clean Plan for more units, produce much less Unfavorable variance Time to assess under allocated overhead Reasons to find Higher fixed cost or demand decline Dive deep into data, uncover the cause Refine the strategy, mend the flaws Production volume variance, that's the aim Difference in overhead, never the same Budget to assign, watch numbers dance Step into the flow, join the finance trance The knowledge, the numbers align Turn insights into action Let your business shine Analyze and adapt Let the figures guide Enhance your process Take it in stride Production volume variance Now it's clear Use this wisdom to steer your career Stay ahead of the game Make the right move In the world of finance Find your groove Production volume variance That's the aim Difference in overhead Never the same Budget to assign Watch numbers dance Step into the flow Join the finance trend Deep crunching numbers Let the Rhythm flow with strategy and skill, watch your success grow. Keep crunching numbers, let the rhythm flow With strategy and skill, watch your success grow